Yeah. All right, everybody, we are back with a follow up to Loretta. Now, just as a bit of a heads up, I'm recording this immediately after the first video that you'll see. Let's just say I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did. Did I just want to do a follow up right now? So here's what we'll do. I'm going to put out the two videos, obviously. And if there's enough interest from you guys, I'll do more. If there's not, it's a shame. But at the very least, I've kind of given you ample amount of this game. So if it's something you enjoy and want to see the rest of, definitely do your part and support indie developers such as this. So far, this has been an absolute amazing little buildup. In case, you, for whatever reason, you're starting off with this video, not the first one. Up right corner of the screen, click that, check it out, then come on back. It's going to be Margaret. Laura? Hey, Laura. Hello, Margaret. Oh, it's good to s it's so good to see you. How long's it been since we last seen each other? Come to think of it, I ain't seen Walter around much either. How's he doing anyway? Great, wonderful. Why don't you tell me you lie? Oh, the girls and I are gonna see a show on Saturday. You should come join us. And, uh, I wanted to talk. Margo! Look. I'll stop by if I'm in the neighborhood. You don't mind, right? I gotta shoot. Margo! I'm keeping your tips! Alright, I'm coming for Christ's sake. I mean, if that woman really is sleeping with um, Walter, then oof. The gall on her, huh? You wanna hang out and uh, catch a show? And then never mind the fact that I'm cucking you. A lot, of course. I ain't no ornithologist. So she's never studied birds? Loretta, you even lie to us. Never have been and never studied nowhere. Just a habitual lie I tell. I'm a working girl. I needed some way to survive when I moved to New York. I wanted to be a nurse, but failed the exams. Twice. Oh, I watched the tiles at diners, tried working as a waitress. Tried working as a newspaper secretary, and believe it or not, even worked at a saloon. I wouldn't say I enjoyed any of it, but work is work. I read an article about a female ornithologist once. She was on an expedition of some sort. I liked it. I even bought the Birds of America. Ain't much of a bird lover though. I mean, that personally hurts me, Loretta. How to believe harbingers, how to love harbingers of disease. I mean, we just get a bad rap. Don't believe everything you hear. It was hotter than six shades of hell. I had the windows cranked all the way down. I could feel the sun burning my skin through the windshield. A swarm of thoughts swirled in my mind, so I didn't notice that I was running out of gas. This old bag of boats chucked 30 gallons to the mile. But Lady Luck smiled on me for the first time that day, and the gas station appeared out of the blue. Its concrete face rose from the middle of a cornfield, all cracked and worn like the wrinkled face of some old woman. Funny thing was, I can't say I'd ever seen that gas station before, even though this was the only road leading home. Go and see about... Well, before we bring anybody here, let's see what we got. United States of America. All 48 of them. Available at, at a glance. It is the 40s after all. Hey, look at that poison. We, uh, we died trying to use that. Take a brochure? I mean, sure. Travel by bus. Oh. What is up with this dude's face? Is it just me? Does it look like a zombie or like a skull? Afternoon, ma'am. How's the day treating you? Could be better. It's too hot today. You ain't wrong there, ma'am. Almost a hundred degrees out. Sorry, hundred. 100 degrees. Could you fill me up for three? Sure thing. Any guys I can get you? Mmm. I don't even know what I want. If you allow me, ma'am, I may have just the cure. But what ails you? You do? Oh, <laughs> no. New and improved rat poison. Even contains its own secret formula. This sucker will get rid of rats, mice, 
Whatever's plaguing you. Smells like almonds, too. Wait. Didn't the uh, chambers uh, mention the smell of almonds as well? Guaranteed work. All for only a dollar ninety-nine. I don't think that... Bah, you know what? You look like a diligent housewife, ma'am. Why don't you take a sample? On the house, just for you. Oh, well... I assure you, ma'am. You would not be disappointed. Oh, man. This is awesome. Uh, what do we got here? One thing I would like is, like, you know, just call it the laziness in me. Or like, you know, if I could hit a key and just see what I can interact with. As opposed to, you know, doing this entire mouse scroll through everything thingamajig. Oh. Hi, Walt. It's hot in the devil's armpit outside. No kidding. Thought I was gonna melt. Ain't it a little early to be breaking out the wine? What are you smiling for? It's all done. What is? You mean, you finish your book? Yep. But that's... That's wonderful. Why didn't you... Publishers already given me the green light. I sent them the initial chapters. I don't want to jinx anything before it's set in stone. But they're saying... The folks from Metro Silver Mayor are interested. Might even turn it into a motion picture, they said. Just imagine. Starring Clark Gable. Now that's the name from that time. I thought he quit acting. Then, Harry Cooper, who cares? That's not the God's down point. Hollywood, Laura. You're right, I I'm sorry. Oh, Walter, I'm so happy. Uh, good for you. Good for us, sweetheart. Can the wine wait a little? I'll get to fixing us a real nice supper. How's about you cook us up that steak you know I love? I honestly didn't expect it. For a moment it felt as though everything could change. It was a flash of hope. Add a pepper, add salt. Well, you know, I'm a bit more towards the pepper side of things. Walter publishes his novel and we return to New York to our apartment on 12th Avenue just as if we never left and life goes back to normal again. Nice the vegetables, sure. But still, he's made promises before. He already found another woman before I could start unpacking my damn suitcase. He's gambled us into the ground when he when we already dirt poor. Why should I think any of that'll stop in New York? No, something's deep inside of me. Something strange had been triggered, and I couldn't stop it. Oh, the steak is oh, delish. Thank you. Last time I ate this good oh, was back in the Big Apple. You barely touched your... I ain't hungry. Well... So we going back? I ran into Margaret today. Drink wine. Hmm. Well, let's see about that. I mean, we got to go all in at this point, right? Uh, d did you? Hmm. <clears throat> So, um, how, how was she? Oh, fatter than the last time I saw her, if you ask me. You, you think so? Ah, uh, not like I'm one to talk, I've certainly let myself go. But think about what it's like to be in her shoes, Lo. Poor girl's been all alone, ever since Clarence bought the farm. It's gonna be hard for her, and you. Points his fork at Loretta. As a woman, I ought to empathize with her a little more. I went to the bank today, and that's why you chose to soothe the grieving widow? Oh, what? What was that supposed to mean? You know exactly what that's supposed to mean. I already told you. It's over. 
Oh, you must think I'm dumb and in a box of rocks. What are you trying to achieve here, huh? Why can't we just celebrate? Enjoy a nice supper. Like ordinary civilized folk. I'm fed up with your tricks, Walter. Fed up with you treating me like shit. Fed up with Lindrin and this godforsaken dump. And all the races and the whores. Nobody forced you to move out here, Loretta. I mean, theoretically, didn't you after you uh, lost all the money? Listen, I know you blame me for what happened to Joan. Hmm, the, okay. So we know that the first kid was a miscarriage. Uh, we don't know what happened with the second one. I'm just fisting to the table. I'm not going to listen to this anymore. And if you must know, I do. I do blame you. Oh, finally. The brain man comes out and says it. I've read the police rip. Police report? Oh, you're such a hypocrite. K L Laura. I had no idea you could be so full of crap. I've read the... <clears throat> Walt? She wasn't lying about the body being in the well, huh? But I'm curious. Could we not have poisoned them? And take him out a different way? This is a game that, for a fact, has different endings, too, so... Who knows? I mean, we've seen us perish as well, at times. Walter looks like he's trying to say something. But the only sound... Uh, only the sound of gurgling can be heard. As he slowly chokes to death. I mean, I feel like we've gone to one extreme already, right? We can't just suddenly back out, right? I must admit, I don't like it when people say honestly or to tell you the truth. It always gives me the impression that they've been shamelessly lying to you up to that point. But there's something transcendental about murder. Something beyond our understanding. Despite how regular and natural it seems, otherwise why else would anyone do it? Oh, don't accuse a woman of being a liar when she doesn't know how to be honest with herself. Stillborn, like my first child, like a poet who speaks no languages, like a deaf, blind, and mute person in a world full of sound, color, and signs. I won't reach a truth with words. They can't give it its shape. There's one truth I know, though. Walter is dead. You don't like people, do you? I didn't say that, but truth be told, <laughs> I don't expect any good to come from them. Right. Well, what do we see here? I do see a mask. I do see a mod. Do I see mold? Uh, not quite. I don't see a mirror, that's for sure. Unless this is a mirror of ourselves. Oh, it's a mirror of ourselves. Their soul on full display. You know what? I like that one. I'm not sure. I don't think this is supposed to be in her voice. I think it might be somebody asking us questions, but whatever. Let's just say she's asking it to herself. Do you think people want to hurt you? I think we're wasting our time here. Why's that? Look at how this works. First, we look at some pictures together, have a nice little chat, and tomorrow you dig into my brain with a metal rod. Yeah, it's gotta be somebody else that she's having this conversation with, but whatever. You're exaggerating. Lobotomies have alleviated suffering for a great many people. In your case, however, I doubt it will be required. I'd like to believe that. Let's continue, shall we? A lobotomy? Oof, that's a, that's an antiquated uh, practice right there, huh? What do we see now? Rat, a vagina, a necklace, a well. The well that we tossed our husband into, huh? 
Shit, let's go with that one. Hmm. Interesting. What is? Your associative pattern. My husband calls them tricks. But it was he who brought you here, wasn't it? So pay attention. Okay, I mean, that, that, that's like nothing at this point. Sure. Something wrong? Yeah. These are just splotches. Ain't nothing to see in them. Whatever I do sees only my imagination. This ain't fair. I ain't done nothing wrong. Life isn't fair. At your age, it's high time you realize that. Oh, don't be so gloomy. How did that saying go? In Italy, under the rule of the bourgeois, terror, murder, and bloodshed reigned. It ended up giving birth to Michelangelo, da Vinci, and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, but of love, democracy, and peace were established for 500 years. And do you know, do you want to know what they produced? The cuckoo clock. Yeah. Cuckoo is quite apt here. This is the nail that we uh, saw at the porch steps early. I woke up with an awful pain spreading through my whole body. It came in waves, like one blow after another, one eye all swollen and watery. Felt like it was going to burst. Hell, I wanted it to burst. Not that it helped none. No, the pain was focused somewhere else. When I opened my eyes, first thing I saw was a crooked, rusty nail sticking out of my foot. Went right through my own skin. So I tugged it free. I was ready to howl. Ready to scream at the top of my damn lungs. Best I could muster was a whimper, though. It was like the top of that metal nail was smiling up at me like some chess-eyed cat. Okay, one more try. Stay calm. Breathe. Come on, low focus. Again. Come on. So this happened as she was uh, getting rid of the body. <laughs> oh, God. The gaping wound stared back at me. An awful blood rich, blood red gash. Last night I felt like a bad dream about to fade into memory. But still, my ripped up muddy dress, my aching leg, the puddle of my own vomit, they all suggested otherwise. I need to get rid of them, remind us, as soon as I can. I'm gonna be sick. So, uh, who's, who's cleaning all this up, I guess that's, huh? I mean, do we really want to walk through there? Yeah. Leftovers from yesterday's supper. Yeah. Ah, what a mess. So that's cleaned up. Turn this off for now. Okay, so we're back upstairs. This room we never went into. Ah. Top cabinet. Bingo. I knew you were in here somewhere. Oh, to take care of our wound. They expired. A long time ago, too. Should I? I'll take them anyway. What's the matter? I don't like things getting any worse. Changing the clothes it is. Oh, that's better. Now to get rid of this dress. Who the hell could that be? <laughs> oh, look who it is. You came at the right time. Laura? Oh, you look like you've seen better days. What happened? Mind calling out Walter for me? 
I feel like if we coax her inside, you know. Whereas here, we can't get her inside if we get all crazy on her outside, you know what I'm saying? Well, Walt is out back. Won't you come on in? Walter, it's Margaret. You in there? Did something happen? Oh, yeah. But don't worry your little head about it. You'll be joining him shortly. So long, Margaret. Oh man, we've we've uh, <laughs> completely gone off the deep end now. Who's next at this point? When does it stop? My name is William Henry Carter. I've been his county sheriff for the last three years. Early in the morning of August 12, 1947, I got a call from the Harris farm. Ms. Harris claimed that her husband, Mr. Harris, had gone missing. How old is Walter, ma'am? Forty-five. And how long you do been married? Uh, Sixteen years. Um, by the way, Loretta, I'm not, I'm not sure about that bloody, uh, yeah. The sheriff chokes back the urge to vomit. For the sake of, for the sake of decency, Loretta pretends not to notice. Pardon me, has Walter gone missing before? No, that'd be the first time. Ah, damn. The hangovers get worse every time. Oh, okay, he's just... <laughs> I thought he was smelling the vomit that we left here and the... The bloody shovel. He's just hungover. Hangovers get worse every time. Feels like my head's about to explode. Well, you did throw back two full bottles by yourself. What'd you expect? Not one bottle. Not a bottle and a half. Two bottles, Bill. Um... So we're questioning Loretta now. Interesting. When was the last time you saw Walter? Does Walter have any distinguishing features? When exactly did you notice that Walter was missing, ma'am? Uh, yesterday morning. I thought he'd gone to the city at first, but the car was still parked by the house. Then evening rolls around and he still ain't back. So I called you today. Well, let's uh see what we got here first. Loretta's standing there, arms folded, staring you down like she's fix fixing to ask you a question. Or we'll simply challenge your authority. What a catch. A man don't just run away from a woman like her. Hmm. You got a queer look in her eyes, though. What's on your mind, sweetheart? What a weird smell. What a place. Everything in here... Giving me the heebie-jeebies. Stay calm, cowboy. Let's listen to what she has to say. Blood? You saw a similar stain out in the hall. Someone tried to wash it off. But they didn't do, didn't do a very good job. It smells mighty strong. Oh, something ain't right, Billy boy. Today's gonna be a long day. This chick's up to something. Don't take your eyes off her. Did uh, Walter have any health conditions? You trying to imply he's crazy? Well. No sir, my husband's right in his mind. Was he in the military? Yeah, he was. But he never did like talking about it. Said he spent two years on a boat somewhere out in the Philippines writing propaganda. At least that's my understanding of it. You know, pamphlets about Hitler, Hirohito, and the like. I chose not to pry any deeper than that. I see. Anything changed since he went missing? Hard to say. What about family? My family? No, ma'am, your husband's. Oh, well, he has a sister over in New York City. 
Can't say we've ever been all that close. Don't suppose you have a number? I'm afraid I do not. May I ask what happened to your leg? <laughs> Would you like something to drink? I caught a nail. But it ain't nothing serious. Ouch. You might want to go see a doctor about that anyway, ma'am. Tetanus is no laughing matter. Lots of folks die from it. I'll get around on that, Sheriff. Did Walter take anything with him when he left? A photo? Maybe a postcard? Huh. Do you know if he's if anything's missing from the safe? Oh no, Walter keeps his manicures in there. He didn't take those with him? I ain't sure. Don't know the combination. Did Walter keep up any extensive correspondence with anyone? Any that you're aware of at least? Or maybe someone you just learned of recently? Well, Walter spoke with his publisher, of course. Probably to some other writers as well, and his old war buddies, most likely. Mind if I take a look at the letter? This one? I have a feeling if I do this, he's gonna basically blat me. It's almost like that same situation with the, uh, private investigator. You should read them. Might offer you some clarity. <laughs> oh, God. That's, uh, that's a pretty bad cover-up job there, Loretta. That door is creaking up a storm. Mind if I take a look? N no, wait. What in the... Freeze, lady. Wait, I can explain... Right, put your hands up, where I can see them. I said put them up. Get up, Loretta. We got a lot of work to do. No, please. I can't do it no more. So that's it, you done? Palm trees, pina coladas, young, tan-skinned boys are all within your reach. It's the middle of the century, after all. Concentration camps, nuclear holocaust. Who are they to judge you? It's high time you became a master of your own destiny. Now grow up. Get out from under their oppressive thumbs. Throw off the shackles. Who knows? Maybe you'll even write your own memoir someday. The world is your oyster, Loretta. Now come on, get up. Well, it seems that killing Margaret, after all, was not the right way to go about things just yet, unfortunately. At least not now. But eventually, I imagine. That said, we're out of time with this one, guys. I'm going to wrap it up here. Hope you have enjoyed. As I've mentioned, I'll put out the first video and the second video that I'm recording now. And if there's enough interest, if you guys want to see some more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. And we'll come back and do some more if you guys enjoyed. Otherwise, all the information will be down below. Be sure to support any developers like this putting out. I mean, this is so far really damn good. It's got that entire Alfred Hitchcock vibe thing going on. It's just so unsettling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.